even if you're, I wouldn't even say if you're a new developer, but if you're just a developer that's been doing the same thing always, and you're going to these architects that just stamp out the same plans. And again, for a lot of people, it's like, I got to go, I got to right. get this project going. I don't have three weeks to waste, you know, redesigning floor plans. Like, are there any simple questions or websites or things that developers can do really early on in the project to kind of expand their horizon and really get it right up front without adding months and months of time to designing the plans? Um, there's three things they can do. Okay. One, um, if they have an interesting project, I'd, I'd love to take a look at okay. it with them. Call Bobby. Um, uh, but the the other two, uh, so there are there are two different um, discrete times when looking at the floor plans matters. One is when you're designing them up front with the architect, and the second is when you're pricing them. Um, and in both those times, what is not done at all, which you could call this easy, you call this hard, is dramatically expand the number of people who are looking at the floor plans. Yeah. Most floor plan decisions are made by the developer, guys, for the most part, and they say, like, what do I like? And that, to me, is like where the, where the, where the decision went wrong or when I started like on this floor plan decision was we were designing these one bedrooms and my partner and I were arguing about whether uh, from the master bedroom to the master bathroom, you should either walk through the closet um, into the bathroom or have the hallway, which has to be like ADA accessible, so certain width to get into the bathroom. And he said one and I said the other. And he said, you know, when he wakes in the middle of the night, he doesn't want to like trip over something. Um, and I said, I wouldn't do that. I don't wake up in the middle of the night in order to do that. So, it, but, but it ended up coming down to like two random guys' opinion on like the way that someone was actually going to live. And so I said, a minimum, like bring in far more people to like do that. Definitely include women, which almost never happens. Yep. Um, definitely include women. And in particular, I'd say when you're going to price units, because this is, I think, where the, one of the key um, uh, problems happens. Um, you, uh, your units are going to get laid out, and um, the the thing that's driving a lot of that at, at the front end is going to be pro forma because you you got to get the building built in order for anything to be like worth anyone's time, right? So, yeah. um, the the people who are driving that are like your lender, your equity, and they're looking at axiometrics and they're looking at co-star comps and that sort of stuff. So, it's going to be Excel and your capital markets team that's really driving that process, yeah. and that's there's no way around that until me or someone else kind of sort of figures out like how to crack the code on on um what things actually move the needle on on uh, on the data side but one of the biggest mistakes that you can make on lease up is uh certain floor plans will almost always rent fab uh, or almost always rent like first sometimes it's the model because someone can like picture it the best or like there's just a certain unit that's done so i'd say at a minimum have like a very expanded team walk through the different units and don't um, and value them relative to each other. Um, it, I mean, it, it's functionally like an A-B test. Uh, and don't have people um, think about the price because I've, I've done that a few times with my team. Um, and uh, with the, what people ended up getting hung up on were like, sort of uh, the rents overall. And, like, they're too high. It's like, well, that's what we told people. So that's what we're going to go to the market with. And we have to correct for those concessions, then we will. But um, the, I think the, the really big mistake you can make is pricing units wrong in in relation to them, in relation to each other. So yeah. have a large team go through and rate different units, and you'll find um, I found like uh, things that I wasn't considering. Like uh, there was uh, two different sides of the building, and I had put like no real value between like um, the view of one to the other. I was like, it doesn't really matter. It's a five story building. What does it matter? You look one this way or that way, and we ended up having like twenty people, ten from my team and ten from outside, just come come away that they would pay like several hundred dollars more just for this other side. So it's something I wouldn't have caught up on. And due to the way that renewals are done, like in like in rent overall, no one would have ever discovered that value. They just sort of rented a little bit faster. Yeah. Um, because renewals are always done generally like you just take that existing rent and then you just increase it by two percent or three percent. They're usually not like reset in a big way. Yep. So those are the two practical things I would tell someone. Um, if you're through, um, have people have people look at them and have them rate them um, just subjectively. What yeah. do you like better, this one or that one? Yeah. And they'll price it significantly better. Okay, for the record, I, I have to know. Yeah. Who is right, you or your partner? Did you walk through the closet or did you not walk through the closet or do you remember? Uh, we did it the way you can probably imagine. We, we flipped a coin and I got to pick half and he got to pick half. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
And and I'd say that's the way that a lot of those types of decisions are made, right? Yeah. Like you just you just without the data, it's it's just preferences, right? Yeah. And then it usually ends up involved the preference who's signing the guarantee, right? Because yeah. the guy's like, well, I like this, and I don't want to lose my money, and I don't want to you know get taken to the cleaner. So we'll just absence data. We'll go with what I like. Yep. 